Hi everyone, I'm here to record a video on printing from Paperspace. I already did one on printing from Milespace. This is my layout tab at Paperspace. Even though it's black, I changed the color to make it a little easier to read. The printing process is very similar to Milespace with one or two important differences. I'm going to hit Control P for print or plot, or you can also hit the icon at the top left on the quick access toolbar. Your print dialog box should look like this. It's possible that the right side is hidden and there's an arrow at the lower right corner that will expand and contract that section. So if you don't see all these settings, hit that small arrow. The first thing to think about is which printer you want to use. If you have a printer hooked up at home or at your place of business, you can pick it from here. If you are uh, making a PDF file, then you would choose that option from the pull down. The Drawing to PDF or DWG to PDF is the one that comes with AutoCAD, at least the more recent versions of it. Uh, I happen to also have the Adobe PDF here, which is available if you have the um, full version of uh, Adobe Acrobat on your computer. So either one of those can make a PDF. There are some subtle differences between the two, but I won't get into those details now. After you choose the printer you want, then you choose the paper size that you need. So, for example, normally when you're printing from your layout tab, you have a title block or a border. Um, that's the whole reason for using the layout tab. So, you would choose the paper size that relates to that. In my case, I'm using a uh, D size border. So, I could choose either the full bleed D or expand D, either one. I like those better than the regular arc D because it gives you thinner margins, which means there's less chance of your border being cut off. Below that is the what to plot area and you can choose uh, layout here. I actually prefer extents and that uh, gives you the option to check the center box below. The important thing with extents is that everything in your layout is inside the border which is a good idea anyways. So as long as you're following that rule then this will not be an issue. And now in the middle you want to make sure you're printing at true size most of the time one to one. So you can either pick one foot equals one foot, or you can type in one inch equals one unit. Either one gives you um, the same result. Um, there are times occasionally where you want to fit to paper, but normally that's only for like an informal print. Like if you have a full-size page and you're just printing out 11 by 17 for an informal review, then you might want to fit to paper. Otherwise, you're generally keeping this at one to one, because that's the whole purpose of layout space is to give you a, a true size layout. The scale line weights box below this is appropriate only if you're doing fit to paper and shrinking it down. And then what that's going to do is make the line weights lighter to compensate for the fact that you're squishing a large page onto a small piece of paper. So if you're doing it full scale then the scale line weights is not going to make any difference. At the upper right corner again if you have these options expanded you would choose the plot style table that you want. So this is determining your line weights and colors based upon how you have your layers set up. So monochrome CTB is a common choice here because it converts the normal technical line drawings into black line work, assuming you have followed basic layer and color protocol. So that's a good choice to start with. Uh, it shows CTBs for me based upon which template this drawing was started from. If you're uh, getting STB files, then it's designed to be plotted from uh, with an STB plot style table. And again, that comes from the template you used when you started your drawing initially. And at the lower right corner, you can choose portrait or landscape. Obviously, landscape is normal for technical drawings um, in most cases, but not all. After you get all these settings right, it's good to hit apply to layout because that saves the settings to the layout in the background so that you don't have to redo this over and over. If you're switching back and forth between several different groups of print settings, then you can add a page setup at the top. And then, uh, for example, you have a page set up for PDFs, and then you might have a page set up for sending it to an actual plotter. And then you could just choose the one that you wanted very quickly. So that's an easy option if you need it. I generally recommend doing a preview before you send a print to verify everything looks normal. This is a good opportunity to do a little quality control check. Make sure that everything is inside the border. Uh, you don't have any abnormalities that you aren't expecting. So if you want to print, then you can hit the printer icon or the X if you want to go back and change your settings. So again, when you're in preview, the printer 
to print or the X to save to go back and adjust your settings. Now when you're ready you hit OK and then it will ask you where do you want to put this this PDF so that you uh, have your finished product. Or obviously if you were sending it to a plotter it would then go to the plotter. So that's it on printing to PDFs or to printers from Paperspace.